It's IB Art Exhibition time at British International School again, and we caught up with this year's International Baccalaureate Art Skateers at the opening. Art was my biggest interest since I was really young, and I, I had no doubt that I would do well in IB course, so I selected this course because I really like and enjoy doing it. I have no idea what else to, to do except for art. Um, I've always been interested in art and being here for a very long time and seeing many exhibitions um, pass by. I've always wanted to learn art because it has a lot to offer in so many different ways. I had a, an, an idea of what was going to happen but I didn't really know that it would be this much effort but while it was hard it was also fun at the same time. Like most people were I was said not to do it because all the stress and all the hard work that they have to do, like the time they have to spend instead of doing art instead of doing other subjects. So it's like about time balance and everything as well. So it's not, um, yeah, most people said it's not really worth doing it compared to the different things you have to do for IP. Well, I was quite confident at first because it's my biggest interest and I thought I would do it well, but I think I had some struggles in doing it. But overall, I think I really enjoyed it. But why is it that BISP has such a hit track record with young artists? We asked Headmaster Neil Richards. The students have to um, really embark on a journey, an artistic journey, not only with technical skills, but also trying to express their emotions express uh, serious concerns that they might have and generally do all those things that a, a good art course would do. Each piece that's produced is a result of a journey that the artist has taken before arriving at the finished product. This piece is by Borum who is also taking art and this piece is called Peter Pan Syndrome and I really like it because there is a high sense of nostalgia in it where I used to draw like this in the background as a child and it reminded me of how I discovered art myself and it's also reflecting the ways people don't want to grow up sometimes and especially being here and jumping from high school to university is also a big step. I think this course has provided all of us to explore many different fields. Uh, we had to re do our research for each pieces to produce each pieces. And I think it was really cha challenging but also interesting. Coming up with an idea, coming up with a concept, uh, a starting point where you have to like um, do research and think of different compositions. Um, I think experimenting with 3D media is very hard for me. I think I find it really hard to construct 3D pieces. This is my favorite piece by Mimi, and the reason why I like this piece is because. I think she effectively used her image to show her inner conflicts and I can see her struggles and confusion and sadness like all of these emotions in one piece and uh, I, I kind of feel the sympathy because I, I have a similar piece like this which is, which is associated with stress. Purely from a technical point of view, I think the teachers here focus on essential skills, which is um, an approach that's lacking a lot of schools where they just want to allow the students to express themselves, enjoy themselves, but uh, most of the great artists have a very strong technical experience and background and uh, period of study. And one of the things that this art department does from a very early age is train the students to observe very carefully 
and uh, that it's that observation that leads to ultimately really good technical skills and then later on the ability to express themselves. But one of the really good things about this school is that with so many nationalities, we are bringing in so many aspects of culture and that mix of culture creates work of outstanding um, ability by the, by the students. My mom used to study art before and she was like a designer in Korean. I think she helped me a lot with yeah, the ideas and like the use of colors because she has a good taste of me. I think I tried to do different to use different methods and I, I wasn't that afraid to use different things. In my experience, in, in many places you get a lot of what I consider immature art, where um, you get a lot of pretty art and uh, it lacks the depth, uh, the, the sort of uh, psychological depth that the, some of the artwork here displays. And I think that again, that goes back to first of all becoming very technically capable very early on, so that as you go through the school you're able to explore ideas more than just exploring how to get you know, the work down on paper or canvas or, or in, in 3D work as well. So, yeah, it's, it's a build-up and um, we do the basics here very, very well. So this is our favourite piece called Devotion by JJ's. And I really like this piece because um, this represents ourselves as a student who's struggling in school and like getting stressed from the hard work in school. And like those animals are a representation of intelligence and gentleness, yeah, et cetera, that um, shows that we will eventually become like these animals, like we'll eventually achieve. And I like the use of colors and also I've seen his process of doing it and it was really interesting. Um, I like the way he used print for this part and he used paint, a, like a dry brush for the animals and there's this dark contrast between the two. And that's what I find really interesting about JJ's work.